hello there and welcome. And I'm so glad you tuned us in today and don't go away because we have two very special people here and they are an inspiration to everyone they meet. And I am so thrilled and honored and happy to have both of you here today. Bernadine Cantrell is here and her husband, Wes. Now, Wes is a former CEO with Lanner, right? Lanier. Lanier in the Atlanta it actually area. was worldwide. Your, your home is in Atlanta, yes. Georgia. That's okay. Right. And my friend here, very glamorous lady, is Ms. Senior Georgia. And you're coming up to a national competition yes. in May. That's right. This is, and you have, I've got to tell people, four children, 22 grandchildren, and 14 great grandchildren. And they've been married almost 60 years. Yes. God bless you. Thank You're you. an inspiration mm. to so many people. And how in the world you became Ms. M.S., Ms. Senior Georgia. Yes. Nothing and you're I very planned. elegant. I <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so you have written books? Yes, both of us have written books. I wrote the first one. It was called Her Husband is Known in the Gates. And I actually lived with a man that was known in the Gates. Uh, for uh, he, His career lasted 46 years with the same company. So I had the opportunity of, to be his support team and president of his fan club. And uh, I learned a lot of lessons along the way, and that's what I share in the book. So your, your book is called? Her Husband is Known in the Gates. Okay. Her Husband is Known in the Gates. All right, we have a little copy here. We have some copies. We can show what they look like. And uh, we also have uh, uh, information where you can reach them if you wish. Uh, Miss Georgia, Miss Senior Georgia, USA. That's going to be my next crown before That's, I go to Las Vegas. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you have all these, this wonderful family. Yes. And you've been together almost 60 years. Mm -hmm. That's an inspiration to Thank so you. many people. And people need to see this. They need to see that it's possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, we had wonderful mortar that kept us together for 60 years, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ to make him the center of our life and to make him important in the lives of our children, grandchildren, and now our great-grands. And you, uh, you've you traveled extensively, and, and mm -hmm. in Russia? Yes. We, we've done uh, mission trips to uh, uh, the Ukraine, and to Belarus twice, and we've been to Venezuela. We've done different mission trips. We were very involved with Belarusian ministries, which uh, goes to All right, now Belarus. what does this involve? Oh, it involves uh, speaking and teaching the Word of God, uh, sharing our testimony, and it's actually expanded into meeting with political leaders there to uh, try to make a touch with uh, the state of Georgia and some of the businesses and all, because Belarus is a small country it's about the size of Georgia, isn't mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very interested in They're wonderful people. But, of course, when you go on a mission trip and you share with people like that, you fall in love with them and want to go back. And you've been several times. Yes. This is, mm -hmm. this is, this is your outreach. Yes, one of our outreach. Yes. As, a, as a married couple who had a successful life together and a wonderful family, you're the perfect example to share with other people. Well, thank you. You know, that's what they get excited about when you tell them about your family. That that really impresses those Belarusian families, and uh, it gives you the credentials then to speak to them. Yes. So how did you happen to go, how did this all happen? I mean, I know you're, mm -hmm. you're into, you are, of course, a, a businessman, a, business a CEO, right. mm -hmm. and for a number of years, and now you're retired. Is yeah, that right? That's right. And how did you get involved in, in all this you know, all this glamour. <laughs> Look at this. How can I tell that, honey? <laughs> How did we get involved? Well, you went to a shoe store. <laughs> That's true. With the pageant, yes, I, a lady walked up to me in the... Uh, you know how we girls are. Of we go course. to the bathroom together, and when we're shopping for clothes, we discuss colors and things with people we don't even know. And so I was talking with this sweet lady uh, about the clothes and all, and we kept bumping into each other in this clothing store. 
And then we got separated, and all of a sudden I saw her walking for, toward me. I mean, she was making a beeline for me. And she walked up to me and she said, would you like to be in the pageant? And somehow or other, my mind did a little twist, and I thought she said, passion play. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'd love to, because I love drama. And uh, so we began to talk, and in a minute I said, uh, I think we're talking about, are you talking about a beauty pageant? And uh, that she said, yes, and that's how it all started. So now you, you are Ms. Senior Georgia. Yes, ma'am. And then you have a competition. It's like the Miss America pageant, isn't it? Uh, it be very similar. We were judged on the same basis except no swimsuits. You don't have to wear the old good. Oh, yeah, we don't have to do that. <laughs> and then we'll go to Las Vegas, and each state will be represented there. And this is a brand-new um, pageant, actually, that they are establishing. And uh, so I have the privilege of being in that pageant for the very first time and represent Georgia. I'm very excited about that, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my crown, I what it means. You, please tell us. I've made a lot of appearances. I'll, I'll speak anywhere, anytime, as long as it's safe, and no one makes me say something I don't want to. Uh, but uh, I want to publicize the uh, goals of the uh, pageant, and it's to promote senior living and encourage senior adults to participate in life as long as they're drawing a breath. And, and particularly, it weighs heavy on me, the separation of generations now. Back when I was younger, they called it a generation gap. Well, it's, it's a chasm, not just a small oh, gap. bless your heart. And yes, I, you've said it all right mm -hmm. there. And I just want to pull those together because, frankly, I know more than I... I was speaking all over the country when I was in my 50s, and now that I'm older, yes. uh, I don't have those same opportunities. But I have 29 more years of experiencing a walk with the Lord, learning more about the Word of God, being more... Um, educated worldwide with my husband in business and I, so I have more that I could share and yet the younger generation seems to close the door and so I'm saying let's knock on that door and knock hard so they can't ignore us because you know if you live long enough you're going to be old. And you have all this experience yes, to share. that you can share with them mm -hmm. and and did you, when you went to Russia, and you went to, how, how did you, how did this all unfold? They, Were they eager to hear your they story? They are eager to hear. Yeah. I walked out in my crown and my sash <laughs> in Belarus. They've probably never seen anything like this in Russia. <laughs> colleges and schools invited us in. And as soon as I said something about my crown, they go, and then I'd say, I'm 79 years old. And they go, ah! And then I say, I have four children and 22 grandchildren. They go, ah! And then you've got them. And they want to hear what you have to say. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we have pre-taped a segment of Bernadine and her presentation, okay? And we're going to go to that right now. So you can see what this gracious lady does, okay? There is no such thing as natural beauty. Now you remember that or we're out of a job. Miss Truby, I, I promise that, that my personal tragedy won't interfere with me doing good higher. Oh, yes, Janice Van Meer was there. It was fabulous. She got hit with a baseball. No, I don't think it hurt her. It hit her in the head. Madeline, I am not crazy. I've just been in a very bad mood for 40 years. Shelby, tell your daddy to quit shooting that gun and... Come on, honey, or we're going to be late. Mama, why do you have to make everything so difficult? Well, you know, honey, what I have to say, if you don't have anything nice to say about everybody, come on over here and sit by me. Now, you know I don't do plays. I can stay at home and sleep for free. 
Mama, all I want is just to have a baby all my own. I'd rather have 30 seconds of wonderful than a whole lifetime of nothing special. Well, the nicest thing I can say about her, all her tattoos are spelled correctly. Well, what I have to say about Miss Shelby is she just wanted to take care of that baby and you and everybody, but her poor little old body just wore out. I thought men were made of steel or something, but it was me. I was there with her to the very last minute. I was there when that wonderful critter came into this world. And I was there when that wonderful creature drifted out. It was the most precious moment of my life. No, no, no. I just want to hit something, and I want to hit it hard. He or hit Liz. Then we can sell T-shirts that say, I slapped Weezer Boudreaux. Clarie, are you crazy? Now, Weezer, you know I love you better than I love my luggage. I think I need to have an emotional outburst more often. Shelby wouldn't want us all wallowing in this. She'd say, get on with life, mother. That's what my head says. But would someone please come tell my heart? <laughs>